What's up guys, LQ here with the LQ Review here to talk about The Marsh King's Daughter. Yeah, you know, I don't think anybody went to see this movie. I don't even think it made a million dollars on this opening weekend, um, which is unfortunate. It's really unfortunate because I quite liked it. Yes, I know, I, I liked it. Now, full disclosure here, I'm kind of a sucker for these types of movies. Kind of true life crime movies. Now this isn't based on a true story, it's based on a novel, but it's a story that you could kind of see parts of this happening in real life. This is a story about a, a man who lives way up in the Upper Peninsula in a cabin miles and miles and miles from civilization, living off the land, really just kind of using the land to survive, living in a log cabin, hunting his food, growing his food, all that stuff. He kidnaps a, a young a young lady, takes her to his cabin, and he has her for 13 years. In that time period, he has a daughter with uh, the, late, the girl that he kidnapped. And he, from the daughter's perspective, he's a good dad. He's a doting father. He's teaching her. He is, uh, um, you know, loving her. And from the daughter's perspective, He's a good guy. Now, what she doesn't see is the fact that he's manipulative. He's turning her against his mom, against her mom, things of that nature. You know, the young kid, nine, ten years old, doesn't see that. Well, when mom finally gets an opportunity to escape, she takes her daughter and she escapes. The guy gets arrested, and um, and the the daughter ends up growing up and becoming a, you know, a traumatized, but functional adult in society always carrying around this trauma from her childhood though and later you know 20 years later her father escapes from prison and the daughter who's played by daisy ridley and daisy ridley does an amazing job here i think she did a wonderful job uh, this is the best acting job i've ever seen her do um portraying the trauma and the strength of this character but when dad escapes, uh, Daisy Ridley's character becomes fearful that he's going to come for her and he's going to come for her daughter. So she goes back to the cabin that she was raised in to confront her father one more time. Um, it's a thriller. It's tense. There's suspense in there. But there's also a lot of uh, heart. There's a lot of heartfelt mo heartfelt moments, especially um, especially in the end when she has her confrontation with her dad. You know, confronting the monster that he that he has always been, reconciling her feelings for him. You know, she loved him. To some extent, she still loves him, and reconciling how she feels about that, just a wonderful story. At least I thought it was, and well acted um, on all sides. So um, I definitely, definitely recommend seeing this one. I know that nobody is seeing it. I was literally the only person there. <laughs> um, and like I said, consider the reviewer. I am someone who loves true life type stories. I even enjoy watching those lifetime dramas that's based on true stories. That's how much I like these types of stories. Um, so I'm kind of the target audience for something like this. But it was good. It was good. And I don't think it's getting anywhere near the recognition that it should be getting. And Daisy Ridley especially um, did, did a really good job here. So Marsh King's Daughter. I'm glad I checked it out. All right, guys. Are any of you planning? I don't think anybody watching this has probably seen it <laughs> because I don't think anybody's seen it. But is are any of you planning on seeing it? If so, let me know what you've heard of it in the comments below.